It's hard to get back in front of this camera after, I want to say, two years of no uploads. It's hard to sit here and just be like, oh, I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I can't keep the consistency up. But there's a lot of reasons. And I don't want to make excuses, but this is legit, all right? We're going to start with reintroducing myself. I'm Bam. There's a full-blown channel rebrand. The hardest thing to explain is that life throws way too many curveballs and health has declined severely. I have seizures really bad, going through things with my kids and their moms. It's hard to sit here and just say all of this stuff. And I don't want, that's a video for another time. What we're gonna do today, we finna talk sneakers. Now it's been a while since we talked sneakers, you hear me? Like it's been a long, long, long time since we've talked sneakers. Now, I distinctly remember back in the day I said I was gonna try to like completely dump the sneaker aspect of my channel away, but it, it's in my blood. I, 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 I pumped that, you hear me? So like, it's no way I can just dump the sneaker aspect of life. Of course, in them two years, I've been busy. Now, it becomes harder and harder and harder when you already have all of the shoes you ever wanted. The reason why sneakers was starting to decline in my brain is because it was something that I wasn't really looking forward to no more. So I got this thing set to where I was like, you know what, let's start snatching all of these grails. Get all of these grails out the way because it gives me something to be excited about. I'm gonna show y'all the grails I've gotten within the last two years, but I'm also gonna show y'all some of my general releases that I've gotten there. To be honest with you, the kid been busy. Really, 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 really busy. So without further ado, let's talk sneakers. So I'm only gonna show off, I think like two general, you, you can say three. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them. And we're gonna start with the Jordan 1 Taxi. I don't understand why this shoe hadn't done anything or why this shoe I don't even know the I don't even know the current market value on the shoe to be honest with you so I'm gonna probably put it right here I wish I knew the current market value on this sneaker this sneaker is cold and this sneaker put me in the mind of the um what's it called the Jordan 1 shattered backboard that the yellow it, it looks good it feels good this was this was one of my favorite pickups now ironically I have been wearing my shoes lately wearing my shoes like really 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 wearing my shoes this is one i hadn't gotten the chance to put on yet um i think next time me and my girl go out i'm gonna, I'm gonna bust these out like, it just depends you know you gotta have a drip to match the sneaker and i don't think i have anything that i can pull this off with just yet i know i do have a hoodie but it's getting hot you know spring right around the corner and i stay in south carolina where it's kind of hot year round it's not really hoodie weather no more, so this is something I got to do some type of shopping for. But I'm going to figure it out after a while. And I, I'm not going to stay on this sneaker too long. I do love it. Clean sneaker. Y'all really should go and pick this one up. So we got to move on to the next one. Now this next sneaker I got, I'm going to place the market value right over here. And it's the Lightning 4. I didn't know much about sneakers back then. But when I did get older and started understanding sneakers and could finally get them on my own, this was actually a sneaker that I wanted real bad. This is around the time when I really wasn't going to pay some obscene amounts of money for a sneaker. And I think the 06 version of this shoe was going for about $600. But to get an 8 or 8.5, that was damn near next to impossible. So this was a sneaker I was like, they got to re-release it one day. And <laughs> they did. And I went and bought two pairs. However, you can tell I wear this shoe. You can tell I wear it. You see the creases in the toe box and stuff like that. The ultimate way to tell somebody wearing this shoe is just look at the sole. Like, you can tell I wear this. Like, this is one of my favorite sneakers to wear. And we're going to move on to the next sneaker. I ain't going to spend too long on this one. Here's another shoe that came out in the early 2000s. I'm really not going to spend a long time on this one. But it's actually the shoe that I'm currently wearing right now. And it's actually my most worn sneaker in my entire collection. And it's the Black Cat 4. This is possibly my favorite sneaker of all time is the Taxi 12. I'm going to put that right here. But my favorite sneaker that I've worn. I have Taxi's by the way. But my favorite sneaker to wear for some odd reason is this. You can't go wrong in I prefer this over having the stigma of wearing black Air Force 1s. You will not catch me in a pair of black. <laughs> Next shoe. 
All right, so this next sneaker is an older GR, but it has became a real classic, and it was a big hit back then, and it was a sneaker that I've always wanted, and I ended up finding it at this store, Cola Kicks. Cola Kicks, I'm dropping the Instagrams. They have uh, four stores, one, um, one in Columbia, South Carolina, one in Charleston, South Carolina, one in Pula, Georgia, and the other one is in Augusta. I think it's in the South Carolina part of Augusta. That's the only one I haven't been to yet, but Cola Kicks is, they it and I, i'm gonna send this to them i want them to see that i said that and it's not sponsored or nothing like that i just really love how these guys do business i love how they work with you for your shoes and i love the fact that they will pay you for your shoes unlike some stores i know this this was a sneaker i wanted so bad and i'm not gonna lie i did i think i kicked out three to get this specific shoe now it was dead stock when I bought it, but it's not anymore. I did wore I wore it probably like three or four times. I'm, uh, one thing, I live in a lot of dirt and sand and stuff like that, but like I kind of only wear my sneakers when I actually really go out or go out of town or I'm out with my girl or whatever, or I'm out with my best friend. Like I wear my sneakers then. So that's why when you look at the bottom of my shoes, it don't look like I wear them, but I do, I promise. And this is a sneaker right here that I really, really wanted i forgot about it for a little while walked in the store saw it and been like that's coming with me today and my boy grabbed it for me and it's been history since so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next shoe because we're really about to get in some fire some fire 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 so this sneaker is the last general release but it is the most hyped general release in a very 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 long time and in all honesty i don't even remember how oh the way I obtained this sneaker, I ain't even gonna show you it, but the way I obtained this sneaker, I ended up walking into um, what's it called? I walked in the city year and they had they had one, but it wasn't my size. I bought it though, and then I traveled and went to a store called Penny Kicks. I, I don't like that store. Nothing against them, I just don't like the pricing. But I went there, he charged me like $25, and I was able to trade this one um the size that i had for my actual size and i bought them an eight and a half well i got the eight and a half and that's this sneaker right here the um reimagine uh me personally i just call them chicago however um they had this effect on the sole that had like it was supposed to be like an aged look on the sole but since i've worn this sneaker a few times already it doesn't have that there anymore it's just kind of great however this another one that i really 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 love wearing and this is probably something i'll be wearing this weekend because i got i'm busy this week so i'll probably be wearing this and you gotta get them i'm i'm sorry you just gotta get them the, the age the look they just try to age the sneaker up and it wasn't a bad thing um they put the cracks on the top part of the leather inside there which would basically is how the sneaker looks today the one that uh, well, from 85 I get the story I get it it got some type of receipt in the box I don't want I got mine at the bottom of my paper so I don't want to do all of that but we ain't gonna spend too much more time on this nigga we about to move on because now we about to get into the heat so the first really 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 fire sneaker I'm gonna show y'all that I just recently got this is my first time ever owning them I got it from Cola Kicks again you're gonna hear me talk about Cola Kicks a lot from now on when it comes down to like buying sneakers off the resale market, you're gonna hear me speak of Cola Kicks, and you're gonna hear me speak of them highly. Without further ado, I finally got the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. Now, these are pre-owned. They're in damn good condition. I have yet to wear this, and I'm trying to I'm trying to bust these out. I'm keeping a stack with you. I'm trying to bust these out, but I think this is gonna be a date night sneaker as well, because <laughs> you, you just can't go wrong with it and I'm not gonna lie the price tag on them pretty damn steep very steep however they got a trade program at Cola Kicks so I traded you know some of my doubles from them G them general releases and ended up with the shattered backboards and in love with them and the one thing that everybody always raved about on the shattered backboards was the leather on the on, um, sneaker and I didn't understand it until I had a pair for my damn self and <laughs> I find myself doing this sometimes in my room. <laughs> but we're not gonna stick on this sneaker too much longer. We're about to go ahead and move to the next sneaker. And once we out of the Jordan section, it's just straight dunks. And 
one, the final sneak is my favorite sneaker of all the sneakers that I have. So let's keep it going. So this sneaker, I'm gonna give y'all a quick story time about this sneaker. I'm gonna go ahead and show it early too. The Air Jordan 4 Off-White Sale. Now, the story time behind this sneaker real fast is that before I was, this, this pair was actually dead stock, but I, I wear these a lot too. I, I failed to mention that. I want these a whole lot. But the story time behind this sneaker is I was actually going to buy a used pair of these shoes. It was a guy. I found them on Facebook. They were authenticated and all. So he was going to let me get them for, I think, like 600 bucks at the time. I'm like, he was in like Somerville, South Carolina. That's like an hour and a half away from me. And it was nighttime. And I was like, man, I got to go and get them now. I hopped. In my car, I don't remember what car I had. Oh, car vlog coming soon, car vlog coming soon. Y'all gotta see the heat. But I don't remember what car I had at the time. However, I, I was on my way and the guy, I'm waiting on him to, to do whatever it is. I'm telling him like, yo, I'm almost there. Like I was actually like 40 minutes into that drive when I had to turn around. The reason I had to turn around, Virgil literally died right then in the middle of me going to go pick the sneaker up. Virgil died, but I didn't know yet. The guy who's selling me the sneaker, he told me Virgil died. He said, the creator just died, so they're gonna go for way more. I'm gonna keep them and sell them later. I was hurt because I wasn't buying the sneaker for resellability. Like, and I don't buy no sneaker for resellability, to be honest with you. I really buy all my shoes to wear my shoes. So when I bought this shoe, when I was trying to buy this shoe that day, it hurt a lot. I was mad. I really wanted to, to do some stuff because, but I, I had to let that go. I waited until the at the Virgil died, the smoke to clear, and when it went back down, because this shoe had hit like 2,500 or something, I don't remember, it was, but my size, I think it was like 2,500, I think it, it dropped down, I don't remember what the price was, but I instantly pulled the trigger on these and I, I had to bring these home, and again, like I said, one of my most worn off-whites, I have a few pairs of off-whites, but this is probably my most worn off-white. Next sneaker, this specific sneaker right here, I actually traded my I had two pairs of UNC off whites. Don't ask how I pulled that off, but I had two pairs. I traded my first pair because those are the one that I wore a bunch. Um, my older brother wore them a bunch. Like they were worn like crazy, and it's not like they were damaged or whatever. It's just that they were worn, and I had another set, another pair that was actually dead stock. No, it was Vin DS. It was Vin DS. I think the person was trying them on something like that. I traded him the older pair of my off whites for this sneaker. Now at the time, the off white UNCs that I had that I traded for these, they were going for like twenty six, twenty seven hundred, and this sneaker was only going for like fifteen at the time. So what I did was I set it up because it was like I gotta have those off whites, and I was like, well, I gotta have those Travis Scotts, and <laughs> these are dead stock. And when I met up with him, it was just a simple transaction. He, he, grailed me these Travis Scott's. I hit him with the off-whites that he wanted. I think he actually put them sneakers on the second I gave it to him. Got in his car, drove off, and went on a date with his girlfriend. Me, I have yet to wear these. I just recently got some drip to go with this sneaker. Shorts, shirts, um, pants. I just recently got that stuff. And I'm happy because I'm pulling these out when I go see John ja Morant versus Trey Young. <laughs> I'm pulling these out. This is gonna this is gonna be the heat pack of the week. I'm not gonna lie. Next sneaker. In recent time, I've grown to love dunks. The black white pair, panda, I guess is what it's called. I wear those religiously. And I have like six or seven pairs of them. I treat those like I treat G Fazos. No, I don't. I don't wear G Fazos no more than one. Maybe you might get a second wear on me, but I'm only gonna wear them once and then after that I get them waking in the pair. But I've gotten heavy into dunks, but I just recently got into SBs. Didn't really know the difference because you know I've kind of always been just Jordan, but then I learned that SB the SB dunk is different from the regular dunks. The first SB that we got on the list is the Bart Simpson. These bastards are clean. However, I do have a dunk the same color. These are the Fruity Pebble LeBron James dunk. Everybody know LeBron, my favorite basketball player. That's why I got them, but they're actually reminiscent of these right here, like heavy to me. I mean, it's way more yellow on the Bart Simpsons than it is on the Fruity Pebbles, 
but it it striked me out like dang that's really 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 similar and i don't know that was just a little neat thing to me however this was the first dunk on the list well first sb dunk on the list so we want to get into the next sb dunk which is way more hype than this one now this next sb actually is two other ones and we gotta get them we're gonna get them but just not right now they're actually hard to come by it's the yellow pad the grateful deads this is another cola kicks exclusive this was a 600 dollars sneaker what can i say cola kicks man cola, <laughs> cola kicks them some bad people i love you guys i love you guys i really 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 do grateful dead size eight can't go wrong with this I haven't worn them yet date night sneakers sorry most of my sneakers are date night sneakers well, all of the hype my general releases i wear them but i don't want to spend too much time on this one we're about to get to the next sneaker and i did not no, I did get these from Cola Kicks. Now, this is a big one. This is a big one that everybody loves. And it is literally the Chunky Dunky. And <laughs> we keep it a bean. Like, th this shoe is worn. Like, very worn. Like, you can you can even see that my laces are dirty. And, like, th this sneaker is very worn. I wear this one out of all of my Dunks, SBs, or whatever. I wear these the most. I want to say these are the most expensive pair of SBs I own. I could be wrong because I do have the Strange Loves, but they're not here. This is the most expensive pair of SBs I own. Tracking down the Travis Scott's right now, but I'm trying to get them for a good price and not a crazy price. These right here, I think these was 1100 Not mad at it. Really, really wanted them. And this was the sneaker that actually pulled me into buying dunks and SBs. So this had to be my first buy. I had to save up to get it. And when I got it, it was like, <sighs> Woo! It, it took a weight off my chest and now that i have it i'm gonna keep wearing it next shoe okay so this is the last sb i'm gonna show y'all um the girl that's always on my channel my best friend loved that chick to death and if it wasn't for her this sneaker would not have been possible mainly because well i wasn't in charleston she was she was in she was in the tanker outlet down there and it's in North Charleston. She was in Tanger Outlet down there. I asked her to go to Cola Kicks just to see what they had in there. So I sent her in there. She had like she couldn't find the heat wall, so I direct her. She get to the heat wall. She was looking at shoe after shoe after shoe after shoe, and I'm sitting here like, man. She like paying in the phone, and I see I see one sneaker, and I was like, hey, what size is that? And she told me once she said eight and a half, that had to come home. That had to come home. And it's actually one I really wanted. It's one more I have to get, but that one is actually very expensive for some reason. But without further ado, here's the Nike SB Mummy. And these are dead stock. Literally just a few days old for me. These are just like, these are like three days old. It's so clean and I want to do an in-depth review on this specific sneaker. And I'm gonna, they're very clean. You know, it glows in the dark. And if I'm mistaken, they say you can actually remove this stuff right here and it has something under it now i'd rather you go and look at a youtube video of someone who already did that because i will not this is this is me right here however i don't want to spend too much time on this my video is already long and i got a lot of editing to do so let's get to the final sneaker let's let's go my final sneaker this came from my best friend as well i will always love you forever for getting this shoe for me. I will always love you forever for getting this shoe for me. Love you forever, for real. Um, you've been great all my life that we've been basically together in this on this blue marble. Without you, I wouldn't have this sneaker today. Well, I'm lying like hell because I was gonna just pay resale for it. Like, it's, it, it, it's, that, it's that deep to me. Funny story, this was her first time on the sneakers app. Her her first attempt and she hit. I lost on the sneakers app, I lost on the other website. But without further ado, Love You Forever. This is the Air Force One Nocta. The original name was Love You Forever and you know it come with, they come with other laces, they come with these, these that you can put on the laces. Um, not the crosses on the heel and on the, on the um, also it says Love You Forever. And the air is actually on the other side. It's, is you know, the the vent holes is a different pattern. 
is really just no, in all honesty. It's literally just a white Air Force One, but it's Drake's Air Force One, so you can kiss my grits. This is my favorite shoe out of all the sneakers I got. Like, <laughs> I don't care about how much a sneaker costs sometimes. Actually, I really don't care about how much a sneaker costs. It's all about the story, and Drake is my favorite rapper, and this, pff, I drove straight to her house. I really, like, I really drove straight to her house the day they came in. Like, when she told me that they was there, I hopped straight inside, hit me cooks, and I was gone. Like I was on my way and then she showed me this box <laughs> and she uh, she actually took a bunch of pictures of me holding this sneaker because she knew how much I love this sneaker so she just had to document that that <laughs> she, she documented it and actually I never even noticed that it says in association with knocked on the bottom of the box I never looked at the bottom of the box see what that says and it says love you Forever, and I will love her forever for this sneaker and this sneaker specifically. Even if me and her was to stop being friends, I'd never forget the fact that she was the one who was able to get me the, the love me forever. The nonsense. And with that being said, it's been a long time since I've shot a video. Trying to be comfortable in front of a camera isn't easy all the time. And when you go through the things that you go, well, when you, when people going through things in life, it kind of makes them a little bit gun shy and. It makes it hard to do the things you really want to do. I, I want to keep shooting videos. I'm going to keep shooting videos. The thing is, it's not easy to shoot videos when you're by yourself all the time. Or like, it's not easy to shoot videos when you don't feel motivated. And again, with my health being the way it is, it makes it harder for me to really want to sit down and shoot a video because like, I'll be like, like, damn, what if I have a seat in front of the camera? You know, I use ring lights and stuff like that. Those are bright whip. It start flashing and then I just I hit the floor. It's it's so much behind this whole thing. I can sit here all day and promise consistency. Or y'all can just watch videos when I put them out. And I'm gonna love y'all forever for doing that. And with that being said, of course no one sponsors the video. However, I do want to give a special thanks to Cola Kicks because if it wasn't for Cola Kicks, a lot of the sneakers that I really, really wanted to track down, I wouldn't have. I have a problem with ordering sneakers. I, I hate ordering sneakers. I truly, 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 truly hate ordering sneakers. That is one of my biggest pet peeves because when I buy something, I want it like right then and there. So being able to go inside these stores and seeing the shoes and being like, oh, oh. y'all thought it was, y'all thought it was over, huh? Y'all thought it was up? Y'all thought I wasn't going to get another pair of shoes ever again because I got so many sneakers. All right, let me show you something. And I love the fact that I can get all of the shoes that I desire from Cola Kicks. The only sneaker that I don't have, and they, they don't have it either, and then when they did have it, it wasn't in my size, is the Nike Dunk SB Night of Mischief. That is my next cop. We're going to keep this train rolling. I got another video coming. I will be shooting that next week. It's going to be a car vlog. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. I, I got I got this little thing called Hemi Cooks. And I got to show y'all how he riding. Like, yeah. It's pulling me outside. So I'm going to try to have it as clean as possible for the video. But I'm not going I'm not gonna waste too much more time. I got a lot of editing to do. This video is going to be pretty long. I can tell right now. But it would really, really, really mean the world to me if y'all get to the end of it. So please get to the end of it.